Hi YouTube! So here I am with a new tutorial about Open6 to 541, a C library for OPC UA. In my previous two Open6 to 541 sessions, I have created an OPC UA server running on this Raspberry Pi who controls these two LEDs over three methods. Here I am connected to my server with a graphical OPC UA client. And as you can see here we have three methods. These two methods are void void methods, which don't need any input or output parameters. This method up here has two input parameters, one for each state of the LED, and it has an output argument which is the amount of LED states which, which were changed. In my previous videos I have used this graphical client to call the methods, but today I want to write a client with Open6 to 541 to do this. So here on my local computer I will navigate into my programmings folder and here I will create a new source file for our client. And I won't write the whole client by myself. If I go to the open 62541s webpage and if I navigate to documentation, devel devel development branch, HTML, and if I navigate here to tutorials, build a simple client, we can find here the sample code for a simple OPC UA client written with the open 62541 library. So I will copy this code here and paste it in here. And all these 14 lines you can see here are just for reading out the node ID which holding the current time of the server. And as we don't need it, I will delete them. Now here the server is running on localhost, so on the same machine as I'm executing the client, but in our case the server is running on a Raspberry Pi, so I have to change localhost to the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Down here we try to connect, and if we could connect successfully to our client, we are now able to um, call our methods. So the first thing we will do is we will call the two void void methods. First we will call the method to turn on one LED. And for calling the method all we have to do is using the function UA client call and the first argument here is our client's instance. The second argument is the node ID from which we are going to call the method. In this case I will just pick the objects folder The next argument is the node ID of our method and let's take a look at it from the graphical client. We can see here the method to turn on the LED has the node ID 62541. The next argument is the number of input parameters and as this method don't have any input parameters I can set it to zero. The next argument is a pointer to the input parameters. I can set it to null because we don't have any input parameters. The next parameter would be a pointer to a variable in which we can store the output parameters from the method. But we don't have any, so I can set it to now too. And the last one would be a pointer to where I can store my output parameters, and I can set it to now too. Okay, so now let's check if 
so calling of our method was successful. For this I'm saving the return value into variable return well and if I get a UA status code good here everything worked and we were able to call the method. On morality on method LED turn on or it's turn on LED turn on LED was successful and if our function return a value different to UA status code good, um, calling the method was not successful. Okay, so now let's call the method to turn the LED off. And before we are going to do it, um, we will wait for user input. So we can see um, the state of LED is changing. I will just print here, press enter to continue. And I will call the function getchar to wait for um, the enter key to be pressed. And for the second method, I can just copy this code here and paste it in here. Okay, I forgot the last line. All I have to do is I have to change the node ID. And the node ID here is 62,542. And it has to be a six up here too. Okay, now we have successfully called our void void methods, but what's about the methods with input and output parameters? And I will add the code for it down here. So at first I have to declare some variables. So I want to set LED1 to true and LED2 to true. Then I need to declare an array of the type UA variant, which will store my input parameters. And as I have two input parameters, the size of the array has to be two. In the next step, I will initialize my UA variant input parameters and then I can copy the value from from my var variable here into my UA variant array. And for this I am using the method UA variant set scalar copy. The so first argument is our destination, the second one is our source, and the last one is a pointer of the type in our case is UA types boolean. Okay, we have to do the same thing for the second input parameter. And we are done. Now we have to declare our output parameters. The first variable here I will use for storing how many um, up parameters our function returns. And I will call it output size. And the second argument is a pointer from the type UA variant, which will um, which will point to our output parameters. Now we can call our method.
Okay, and okay, it's a little bit too less here. Let's copy the remaining three lines here. Okay, so we have to change the node ID of our method. Here our input arguments are two. Here we have to pass a pointer to our input parameters. Here we need to pass a pointer to our variable in which we will store the size of the output parameters. And the last argument is a pointer to our pointer of the output parameters. Okay. And now the last thing is, if calling off the method was successful, we will now evaluate our output parameters. So first, let's print the number of output parameters we have received. And now I will create a new variable which will store our um, converted output data. And here I have to cast the data of our new variant to UA in 32. And now I can print um, my output parameter. And that's it. That's the code for a simple OPC UA client calling free methods. Let's test it. So I will compile it with the GNU compiler collections C compiler. My input file is my client.c, my output file is my client, and I will use the open 62541 library to compile it. Okay, I made some mistakes here. One error and two warnings. So I have a typo here. So let me change it here. And the warning was I'm passing a wrong pointer here. I've just to pass this argument, which is the start of our input parameter array. Okay, I will try it again. Okay, it seems it worked. And now let me get my webcams back here, because now I will run my client. Okay, so now after executing my client, we should connect to the server, and then one of the two LEDs should turn on. And yes, this LED has turned on. So now we need to press enter to continue. Let's do it. Now the LED is off again. And if we press enter now, both LEDs should be turned on. And our return value is 2 because we changed the state of two LEDs. Great. So our client worked. We could successfully call the methods offering by our OPC UA server. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.